the fruit of returning home. That's what we're going to begin to talk about today on Strength for Today. This is Friday, September the 20th. We hope and pray that you'll come out and be with us this weekend here at Timberlake Baptist Church. Sunday school at 945, morning worship at 11, Sunday evening service at 6 p.m. We'd love to have you be with us. Sister Lou and her husband in West Virginia, God bless you all today. Thank you so much for your faithfulness to tune in to Strength for today. And we appreciate so much her sister, Beulah and Speed Beef. And uh, they're in uh, Spring Garden, Virginia. Won't be long before Speed Beef be getting him some deer. So y'all pray for them that they have good aim. The fruit of returning home. Luke chapter 15, verse 11 is where we're going to start today. We won't get far, but we'll talk just a minute about willful selfishness. Verses 11 and 12 of Luke chapter 15 say, And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said unto his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falleth unto me, and divide. And he divided his living unto them his living. What a sad state of affairs. Here's a man not even dead yet, and the boy says, I want my half, I'm out of here. He was willfully selfish. He thought his daddy owed him something. His daddy didn't owe him a thing. But he did. He gave him his portion, sent him on his way. He let him have his way. And the sad part of that is he took it. He was willfully selfish. He took the money and run. He loved the the substance of the father more than his relationship with his father. I'm afraid sometimes that's where a lot of Christians are. They like the deliverance and the joy and the peace that God gives, but they don't really love him. They don't want to participate in his sacrifice and being patient and trusting and obeying him. There's more to that relationship than just being saved. We owe him. He doesn't owe us. And we need to be repentive day by day. And we need to be uh, uh, look for forgiveness day after day. Ecclesiastes 9.3 says, This is an evil among all the things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all, Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil and madness in his heart, in their heart, while they live. And after that, they go to the dead. What we've got to understand is we can live a whole life of pleasure seeking, but when our life is over and we die, there's nothing left. There's absolutely nothing remaining. I told a young man in our church this Sunday morning when we were talking after the service, about the end of times. And I quoted this statement to him, and I quote it to our people all the time. Only one life will soon be passed, and only what's done for Christ is going to last. And that's it. And folks, if we don't serve God in this short thing called life, we've not made a good investment. We've been selfish. We don't need to be selfish anymore. We need to serve. We need to sacrifice and follow him and live by his pattern and his example and love the Father and not leave him. I hope that will be your strength for today and your hope for today.